All right, in this video, this is example seven of the med dosage series, and this is infusion pumps and flow rates. We have an order for 1.5 liters of normal saline continuous IV for 48 hours. Question, a particular infusion pump is programmed to deliver fluids based on milliliters per hour. What should the pump setting be for this order? We're talking about a flow rate for this infusion pump, and this formula will become uh, automatic. You will memorize this through time, but the flow rate is volume divided by time. Let's take the volume that we have for this order, 1.5 liters, that's the volume, and let's divide this by the time, the 48 hours. Now, we have to be careful here, and you'll see why in a second, but for now, 1.5 divided by 48, let's just grab a calculator real quick, and we will get 0 0.03125. But let's be careful with our units. This right here is liters per hour. If we need to deliver 1.5 liters over the course of 48 hours, the flow rate right now is 0.03125 liters per hour. Now, notice this infusion pump, this particular infusion pump is programmed to deliver fluids based on milliliters per hour. Right now, our flow rate is in liters per hour. So we have to do a little bit more math to get the final answer here since we want milliliters per hour. One way to tackle this is a quick dimensional analysis approach. Let's take our flow rate right here, 0.03125, and this is liters per one hour. Now, the reason why we have to do a little bit more math, again, is because we need milliliters per hour but right now we have liters per hour. We need to multiply this using dimensional analysis. We will put one liter at the bottom and that is the same thing as 1000 milliliters, dimensional analysis. 1000 milliliters is the exact same thing as one liter. But notice with the dimensional analysis, we can cancel out our liters, those two words there. And now when we multiply this, 0.03125, if we multiply that by 1,000, a shortcut here, if you multiply by 1,000, all you're going to do is move your decimal three places to the right. That will give you 31.25. The word that we have left up top is milliliters. And at the bottom, if we take one hour times one, that's just one hour. Therefore, our flow rate setting for this infusion pump is going to be 31.25 milliliters per hour but more than likely most of the time infusion pumps you just set it to the nearest whole number so we'll say right around 31 milliliters per hour and there you have it example seven infusion pumps and flow rates go ahead and start learning this formula here and just be extra careful based on your flow rate here we had liters per hour but we had to go one additional step so that we could get this in milliliters per hour and that's it for this video. I hope it helped.